Om Shanti. This is the Avyakt Moili of 7th of March, 1984. And the title is, Only Karmatid Souls in the Stage of Retirement are Instruments for Service of Intense Speed. Madhuban is the land of blessings, the powerful land, the land of elevated company, the land of easy transformation, and the land that enables you to experience all attainments. Coming to such a land, do all of you experience yourselves to be full? That is, full with everything. There is no lack of attainment of anything, is there? Have you imbibed for all time the treasures that you have received? Do you think that when you return from here to your service places, you will become great donors and instruments to donate to everyone these powers and all attainments? Have you experienced yourselves to be destroyers of obstacles and embodiments of solutions for all time? Let alone your own problems, you also have to become embodiments of solutions for other souls. According to the time, you Brahmin souls have now gone beyond being influenced by problems. To be influenced by problems is the childhood stage. The childhood stage of Brahmin souls has now ended. In your youthful stage, with the method of becoming a conqueror of Maya, you became Mahavirs. You became rulers of the globe in service. You became bestowers of blessings and great donors for many souls. You had many types of experience and became Mahadatis. Now, you have reached the time to attain your karmatid stage. Only through the karmatid stage of retirement will you be able to liberate all the souls of the world from the bondage of karma for half the cycle and send them to liberation. Only souls who are liberated can enable souls to receive their inheritance of liberation in a second from the Father. The majority of souls will come to you children who are karmatit in the stage of retirement. The great donors and bestowers of blessings begging for liberation. For instance, people now go in front of your non-living images in the temples and pray for happiness and peace. Some go to pilgrimage places and pray for something. Some ask for something while sitting at home. Whatever is everyone's capacity, that is how far they reach. But their attainment of fruit is according to their power. Some do this from their heart while sitting at a distance, whereas some go in front of the idols at the pilgrimage places or in the temples and do this in order to show others. They do it out of selfish motives. According to these accounts, as their actions and their feelings, so the fruit they receive from them. Now, according to time, they will pray in front of you living idols who are great donors and bestowers of blessings. Some will reach the temples of the service places. Some will reach the great pilgrimage place, Madhuban. And some will have visions while sitting at home and experience revelation through their divine intellect. Even though they don't personally come here, they will pray with their love and determined thoughts. They will invoke you living angels in their mind and ask for a drop of the inheritance of liberation. In a short time, 
you will quickly have to carry out the task of enabling all souls to receive their inheritance. Just as instruments of destruction have been refined and will thereby be instruments to bring about completion at a fast speed, in the same way, you souls who are bestowers of blessings and the great donors through your karmatit angelic form and through your completely powerful form will respond to the prayers of all souls and enable them to receive their inheritance of liberation. In order to carry out this task at a fast speed, are you ready as master almighty authorities, treasure stores of all powers, treasure stores of knowledge and embodiments of remembrance, the machinery of destruction and the machinery of blessings will work fast together at the same time. You have to be ever ready over a long period of time, that is, from now. If those with an intense speed do not practice remaining karmatit and embodiments of solutions for all time, then at the time for need of intense speed, instead of being those who give, you will have to be those who simply observe. Only those who have been intense effort makers over a long period of time will be able to become instruments for intense service. This is the lovely stage of retirement, that is, to be free from all bondages, to be detached and doing intense service with the Father. So, it is now the time to become those who give, not the time to be those who even now take for themselves or for problems. The time when you remain confused with your own problems has now passed. Problems are also a creation of your own weaknesses. Any problem that comes through someone else or through certain circumstances is in fact the result of your own weakness. When there is some weakness, problems attack through any person or through circumstances. If there is no weakness, problems cannot attack. Problems that have come will make you experienced as an embodiment of solutions instead of one who experiences problems. That is the Mickey Mouse that has been created out of your own weakness. At the moment, all of you are laughing, but what do you do when it comes? You yourself become a Mickey Mouse. Play with it, don't be afraid of it. However, those are also games of childhood. Don't create anything and don't waste your time. Go beyond that stage and become those who are in the stage of retirement. Do you understand? What is time telling you? What is the father telling you? Do you enjoy playing with toys even now? What has the creation of people of the Iron Age become like? You hear this in the Murli, do you not? They have become like scorpions and lizards. Therefore, this creation of weak problems also bites you like scorpions and lizards and makes you powerless. Therefore, when all of you return from Madhuban, become full and have this determined thought, you have finished all your own problems. However, you must not become a problem for anyone else either. 
you will always remain an embodiment of solutions for yourself and others. Do you understand? You come here having incurred so much expense and with so much effort, and so you will easily and constantly continue to receive the fruit of this effort through your determined thoughts. Just as you have had a determined thought for the main thing of purity, that no matter what you have to tolerate, or even if you have to die, you will remain firm in this promise. You consider it to be a sin if there is the slightest fluctuation in your dreams or thoughts. Similarly, to become an embodiment of a problem or to become influenced by a problem is also accumulated in the account of sin. The definition and recognition of sin is that where there is sin, then there will not be remembrance of the father and his company. Sin, pop, and father, bop, are like day and night. So when you have problems, do you remember the father at that time? You move away from him, do you not? Then when you become distressed, you remember the father. Then you remember him as a devotee, not as one who has a right. Give me power. Give me support. Take me across. You don't remember him as one who has all rights and in the form of your companion and as an equal. So do you understand what you now have to do? You now have to celebrate the completion ceremony. You will celebrate the completion ceremony of all problems, will you not? Or will you just dance? You perform very good dramas. Now, hold this function because a lot of time is needed for service. There, people are calling out for you, whereas here, you are fluctuating. This is not good, is it? They are calling out to you as bestowers of blessings and great donors, and you are crying with an off mood. Therefore, how would you give them the fruit? Your hot tears will also reach them, and they will continue to be afraid. Now remember that you are the special, worthy to be worshipped deities together with Father Brahma. Acha, to those who have been intense effort makers over a long period of time, to the children who are ever ready for intense service, to the children who are world transformers and so transformers of problems and are the embodiment of solutions, to the elevated souls who remain constantly merciful and who remain loving and cooperative to devotee souls and Brahmin souls, to those who always remain beyond problems, to those who remain in the karmatid stage of retirement, to the children who are complete, Bhaktada's love, remembrance, and namaste. Bhaktada meeting the New York group. Do all of you experience yourselves to be the Father's special souls? Do you always have the happiness that just as the Father is always elevated, so too you children are also elevated like the Father? With this awareness, all your actions will automatically become elevated. As your thoughts, so will be your actions. So, you are the special souls who, with your constant awareness, remain stable in an elevated stage. 
constantly continue to celebrate the happiness of this elevated birth. You will not have such an elevated birth throughout the whole cycle where you become a child of God. In 5,000 years, it is only at this time that you have this alokic birth. You will go into the family of souls, even in the golden age. But at this time, you are the children of the Supreme Soul. Therefore, always remember this specialty. Always remember that you are a Brahmin from an elevated family with elevated religion and elevated actions. With this awareness, continue to move forward at every step. Let the speed of your efforts always be intense. The flying stage will constantly make you a conqueror of Maya and free from bondages. Since you have made the Father belong to you, what else remains? There is just the one that remains. Everything is merged in just the one. By staying in the remembrance of one and remaining stable in a constant stage, you will continue to experience peace, power, and happiness. Where there is the one, you will have the first number. So, all of you are number one. Are you not? Is it easy to remember one or many? The Father makes you practice just this and nothing else. Is it easy to pick up 10 things or just one? So it is very easy to imbibe the remembrance of one in your intellect. The aim of all of you is very good. Since the aim is good, you will continue to develop good qualifications. Acha, blessing. May you be a karma yogi and sit on the immortal throne and make your physical senses always perform elevated actions. A karma yogi is one who is always seated on the immortal throne. That is, one who is a self-sovereign and has a right to the father's inheritance of fortune and the kingdom. The actions of those who always perform actions while seated on the immortal throne are always elevated because all their physical senses are under law and order. If someone is not seated on the throne properly, there cannot be law and order. So a soul seated on the throne always performs accurate actions and eats the practical instant fruit of accurate actions. Such souls receive happiness and also power. Slogan, those who have love for Brahmin culture are loved by Father Brahma. Om Shanti.